I think we should start moving on from this subject now. All right, what's what's next on the uh, topic of conversation then, James? It's you, you did mention you have been getting into better call Saul and you went oh, to see this right. new Tom Hanks film. Yes, it was I... it was curious because you're usually a sitcom. Yeah, well, in the last episode I did, you could see that I'm a hardcore sitcom fan, but this year, well, last year, I've sort of been more, you know, diverse, I guess you could say, and, um, you know, fig- like, watching different genres rather than just sitcoms and comedy movies and that kind of thing. Um, so I did experiment with um, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and I'm glad that I did that because... Those two series are just so amazing, like, you seriously have to watch it at some point, James? When are you going to start watching Breaking Bad? Well, at some point I will. Yeah, you really do need to get into it, because I can already feel a review show coming for Breaking Bad. I bet you're just going to finish that whole series in, like, one month. And you're just going to rave on and on about it? I can just feel it, James, because those two series are just complete masterpieces, I'm telling you now. So, um, yeah, what, what were you saying? There was also, um, the Tom Hanks movie, uh, A Man Called Otto, it's called, and, uh, that was also a pretty good movie. It was pretty dark towards the end, like, the genre it was in was actually comedy, but it was more sort of a dark comedy than just a comedy, you know, because at the start it was funny, I guess you could say, but then towards the end, everything just turned, um, depressing, really. I won't spoil it too much, just just in case you watch it, James, but, um, yeah, I think I gave it a 8 out of 10, I'm pretty sure, was my rating, because there were a lot of funny parts mm-hmm. at the start, but then it just turned dark and depressing, because something terrible actually happens to, um, Otto at the end. I won't say what, though. don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to see it. I'm not sure if I'll see that movie. Yeah. Well, you never know. You could see it once it comes out on some streaming or DVD or something. You never know. You don't have to watch it at the cinemas, but it is a pretty good flick. Mm. I wouldn't go anything above 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 is a pretty fair rating. But, um, yeah, Tom Hanks did do uh, pretty good on it. Because he isn't... Well, he's not usually a comedy sort of a person, Tom Hanks, but yeah, he he's a pretty... um, What's the word I'm thinking of? Not diverse. Um, He, he can play in a large range of uh, genres. He doesn't just stick to one sort of genre, you know? Like Jerry Seinfeld is with yeah, comedy. He's not like that. Yeah, I mean, Tom Hanks played in a movie where it was about the Vietnam War and he was, like, kind of disabled and stuff like that, so... Yeah... And then everyone knows about um, Forrest Gump. If you haven't watched Forrest Gump, then, yeah, I, you've literally not even lived. I don't even know you at this point. <laughs> I, I, I've seen it. I've yeah, seen obviously. it, so I, I have a lot. Yeah. I mean, uh, this might be a bit of a hot take, but I think Forrest Gump is pretty overrated. Would you agree with that, James? There might be some well, people in the comments watched... going, Oh, how dare you say Forrest Gump is an overrated movie? Where, where, where? But hey, that's just my opinion. I just really don't get what the whole deal is about it, you know? Like, it's a good movie, seen... but it's just not that good, yeah. you know? I've not seen it in a while, to be honest. But yeah, me either. Like, I can't really agree or disagree, so. Yeah, I remember the main sort of storyline about it, but it was just, yeah, it was good, but it wasn't great, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. Yeah, not really. So there's a bit of a hot take for you. There's probably probably people who agree with you. Yeah, there probably will be. It's just a matter of opinion. So, um, yeah, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. You really need to check out those TV shows at some stage, James. Because you're, you're missing out, and anyone else in the audience, you are missing out if you haven't watched those series yet. I'd actually just finished um, yeah. Break, um, Better Call Saul like, about a week ago at this point, and that finale was something else. The finale for Breaking Bad was actually probably a bit better than Better Call Saul, and actually Breaking Bad in general is just a bit better than Better Call Saul. I'd, I'd say uh, Breaking Bad is probably... 
a nine and a half out of ten and better call Saul is probably nine out of ten I'd say it's not a perfect series mm-hmm. but it is a very very good attempt better call Saul yeah you, I remember you and Phoenix talking about it and you said that some people it took like three seasons to get interesting or something like that yeah well, I guess that can apply for a lot of um, TV shows um, Seinfeld I always mention when I'm talking about this kind of thing um, that took about like three seasons to fully get into you know and it's sort of the same thing with mm-hmm. Breaking Bad. It took about... Oh, actually, no, for me, I sort of got into Breaking Bad since the very first episode, but I was talking to um, Phoenix, and he said it took about, like, three episodes just to get into it, which I disagree with, but, um, yeah, for me, it was just the first episode, and then I was like, oh, my God, I've been missing out a lot, you know? So after that, I, I sort of came to my senses, and I was like, you know what, there's more of a world of TV than just sitcoms, so I, I started um, Better Call Saul after that, and um, I've also got to watch El Camino, the, um, the movie, the prequel after Breaking Bad. That's sort of the last piece of the puzzle for um, the Breaking Bad universe. Yeah. So that's sort of on my agenda for now.